plaintiff, Troy Petrowski, says he and the defendant used to be best friends. Until one night after a day of golfing and drinking, the defendant assaulted Troy. Troy claims after the assault, the defendant put Troy in his bed and then stole Troy's truck. He's suing for the assault and cell phone bills. Defendant David Kreitzer admits that he and Troy got into an argument, but insists he only punched Troy after Troy took a swing at him. David insists he was intoxicated on the night of the incident and didn't intend to take Troy's truck, and he denies owing for the cell phone bill. Start with you. Well, Dave Kreitzer, besides being a little loud and obnoxious at times, he was my best friend. And then promised he'd never beat me up on September. Promised we he'd never beat you up? Yeah. Remember you said that to me? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I told Doyle that, yeah. It happened quick, though, but anyway. When, I, when we met, I said, Doyle, yeah. I promise not to beat you up. Thanks, <laughs> Is that how I went? Tell me how he said it. Well, he was my best friend. He just, he always told me, don't worry, I got your back. I'll never beat you beat up. Beat you up? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And he's kind of... What a, makes you think that he had... <laughs> why did he have to express that? Because he got me. This sounds odd. Well, when we someone went tells you they'll never beat you up, then you should run. Because <laughs> for them to have to even say that, and that's on their mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, we went golfing. We had a few drinks. Went back to my house. He drove in my car. Got back to my house. Walked inside. We're in my living room. He wants to use my truck. I'm like, call for a ride. Well, then it proceeded he wanted to stay over. I said, no way, get a ride. Well, then push sled to shove it, and next thing you know, I'm on my back dodging punches. Because you wouldn't let him stay? No, yeah. I mean, yeah, because I wouldn't <laughs> let him stay. Why wouldn't you? Your best friend. Well, he was getting rude. Obnoxious. He gets mean when he's drunk. What was he saying, sir? I can't say a lot of those words in here. All right. Yeah. Sir, you give me some background before we get to the cell phone bill and the assault he's suing you for. You want to give some background? Well, sure. Well, what he said happened, and I did. We did get in a confrontation. But it didn't happen in his house. But you broke your word, sir. Well, yes, I guess I did break You're my word. You're not a man of your word. Yes, I guess I'm not. <laughs> When you what? met him, you told him, yes. I'll never beat you up. Yes, and, 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 I, and I did say that to me. I did. Why did you have to say this? This is the weirdest thing I ever heard. <laughs> Why did you have to tell him that? Well, you know, where we you live... You have a reputation where, for being well, we, people... No, are, no. Yeah. Where, where we live, you know, things happen, and, you know, I didn't want anybody ever hurting that guy because he is my friend. And I always told him that. I said, don't worry. If anything ever happens, I'll take care of you. Well... I understand that, but the, the part where you tell him, you will never beat him up. That's what's... Well, you know, uh, probably had too many uh, drinks that okay, day, Okay, got it. All right. You all the sloppy drunk one day, you know. I'll never beat you up. <laughs> I love you. Uh, I love you to death. <laughs> and I'll never beat you up. <laughs> and that's how it went down. <laughs> I understand now. Y'all were sloppy drunk. Defendant David Kreitzer is being sued by his former best friend, who claims their friendship ended after David assaulted him. What occurred? Well, Much of what he said out, is correct. It happened outside. It didn't happen in his house. So. Let's start off with the drinking. Where were you? Was it as... We were at the golf course, and then we went to clubhouse after golfing, and we were talking to a mutual friend of ours. And he got upset about that. And when we got to the house, he was arguing me on the way there. And this happened outside. This did not happen in his house. We're and he inside. came after me. He pushed. I pushed him back twice. I said, Troy, are you kidding me? No. And then he started swinging at me. Finally, that was it. Then I, I clocked him on. One. And it happened. Twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> but... Then I picked him up, and I said, come on, Troy, in the house. And I took him in the house. You know, I felt bad it happened, but it happened. But you, I didn't, I didn't, he swung at me. I didn't swing at him. And you drove uh, back from the clubhouse? I don't know. Yeah. You don't hey, know how you got back from the clubhouse? Too. I don't know. Apparently. 
All right, I was just trying to get an understanding of who was most drunk. <laughs> he was. Well, no, no. Way. you don't. If oh, you don't know yeah, whether don't you know drove way. or not, because <laughs> I would be more inclined to believe a person who wasn't as drunk as the other. He's drunk and belligerent and out of control. You, hey man, just back up. Let's not do this. But now I don't know who to believe because, as you just said, you were so smashed you don't even remember who drove you. Go ahead, sir. Well, when he left with my truck, okay, because then he took my truck, and this happened in my living room. If he can't remember, he can't remember. But he had the car keys in my his pocket when he drove back, because he took my car keys with him. Why did you take his car keys? Because they're in my pocket. I took his truck back home, which he told me to take his truck home. So I did when I went home. And the next morning when I got up, I knew that his car keys, I checked my pants and his car keys were in there. Of course, because you drove the car home. Yes. So I took him and his truck back to him, dropped it off. Then he came back and he, you know, this all happened outside. This didn't happen. Now, in you home. two couldn't possibly think I'm going to give you some money. <laughs> you too drunk to know whether you're driving. He's too drunk to even know uh, where he passed out. Where did you pass out, by the way, when you got home? He put me in my bed. <laughs> he has to be tucked in. He's so drunk. <laughs> How often do you all get drunk like this? Not often. No, not often. What is that to you all? Well, I quit drinking as of the new year, totally. Before that, how often were you drinking heavily? Wow, uh, like that? Probably once a month, maybe. I mean, this was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> what did you want to show me, sir? Now, this is what I looked like in the morning. This is a picture of you yeah. after he assaulted yeah. you? Wow. Whoa. Sir, that's more than one swing. That's more than two swings. No, that's twice. No, that's beating him. Mm. You're not that good. Yeah. Well, you can take two swings, and he looks like that. Boxers in the ring for 15 rounds, they don't look like this after that. Hmm. Well, that happened, like, real quick, and it was done. Mm -hmm. It was quick. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, don't make it sound like I stood there just beat on that guy because I surely didn't do that. And you didn't do that in two swings. Cell phone bill, how does he owe you for that, sir? Um, I purchased him a cell phone. He made two payments and then he didn't make any more payments, so I cut it off after the bill got too high. Here's that bill. What was the agreement on the cell phone that he, he would was pay gonna, every he month? He was going to pay the bill every month. And how many months did he pay again? Two. Two months. Defendant David Kreitzer is being sued by his former best friend, who claims their friendship ended after David assaulted him. Sir, what do you want to tell me about this? Well, I did a lot of work with Troy, too. Mm -hmm. If he didn't want me to have that cell phone, he should have he shut it off a, a long time ago. Now it's a year and a half later, and now he's going to sue me for a cell phone bill. I think what it is is he's just upset because we got in that argument and that confrontation and that fight. How long ago was that? A year and a half ago? September. The fight was, my cell phone was already shut off prior six, eight months before that. So then he didn't shut it off because of no, the fight. No, but I didn't hear nothing about this until after the confrontation. Then he wants to come after you. Then I, then I got served with papers. He on. never requested money from you. That's your point? Well, not that he, I want to pay it. I would have paid him. No, I said, did he ever request? Yes. Yes. He did. Yeah. She gave him bills. Yeah, so you Your Honor, I have no problem paying the cell phone bill. You don't have any problem paying that, but you certainly shouldn't have a problem paying for this assault, sir. It one swing would have done whatever you needed to do to him if he was sloppy drunk. Here you beat his face to a pulp. That's terrible. You aren't his best friend. One thousand seven hundred twenty-five dollars is your judgment, sir. Good luck to you. I hope you are finished drinking. If nothing else, that should help change Thank that. You. Have a good day. It no. just happened. It happened, and I'm sorry it happened. It is what it is. Yeah, well, I just, we won't get drunk together. Maybe I'll take you off probation here in a 
couple months, we'll be friends again. All right. So sorry it happened. I know. Yeah. Sorry it happened to you. Yeah.